Hey guys, it's Arms Day. For the Suros RE41, the Rank 2 roll with SPO 28 sight, perfect balance, and rangefinder is a great all around weapon. For the Tier 2 perk, you can choose between Snapshot and Injection Mold. I'd pick Snapshot since the stability will already be pretty high, and you probably shouldn't hurt the range any more than necessary with this gun. For the Suros RE45, the Rank 2 roll with perfect balance, Injection Mold, and Spray and Play is the best of the bunch. That really isn't saying much though, the low magazine size does lend itself well to spray and play, which is a pretty nice feature on this rifle. The Ludmula rolls aren't worth anything else in legendary marks, if you really want a god roll, then hold on to the package. For the Soros PDX-45, the rank 2 roll is damn near a god roll. The SPO-28 sight, perfect balance, full auto, and rifled barrel give a massive range bump, I expect to see a lot of them this weekend for trials for sure. For the Soros JLB-42, the rank 3 roll is going to be the best because it has heavy payload, tracking, and javelin. That's pretty much the best you can hope for on these gunsmith launchers. For the test weapons, there are two PvP weapons and three PvE ones. The weapons for next week are the Hake Arminius D Auto Rifle, the Soros RE-45 Auto Rifle, the Soros JLB-42 and 47 Rocket Launchers, and finally the Hake Jinku Kogo D Shotgun. Hope you guys found this video helpful. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny your guide to the Destiny Universe.